Hello everybody coming at you with all my might. It is might. How are you guys doing today? Um, a beautiful day out. I got my Beamer out. I like those new Icon stickers. Love Icon products. But um, this is a Triumph Scrambler 900. This is my buddy, the one who let me ride the Tiger. Um, so he just got this inspected again um, got a new back tire on there he has a lot of work done to this he has um, like the guards he's put the aero exhaust on there he beefed up the shocks um, he actually rode this off-road sort of with us um, when we went to the DRs like that you custom windscreen mirrors and stuff like that so we're gonna take it out for a test drive once I figure out. I know the key is like on the side. Up oh, there it is. Pretty sure this is it. Oh, maybe I have the wrong key. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I had to go in and um, ask him how to start it. How do I start your bike? Where do I put the key in? Do we need a motorcycle I did, that's why I left it on. <laughs> when you're sitting on the seat, it's up here. Okay, that, that little thing on the side. Yeah. So you just, yeah. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be good for the video. <laughs> it's like, how do I work your bike? <clears throat> oh, I see, I was sticking it over here. Oh. I seen this was, okay, so. Oh, okay. I was sticking it on the wrong side. Nope. Okay. It should start right off. All right. Some reason right after I ride it and set it, it wants to shut off right away. So don't be surprised if it does that. But it sounds like it's gonna run. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that was sort of embarrassing. All right. All right, and away we go. Little dinky mirrors. This bike feels like really small. Sounds amazing. It's even better when you're on it. Like I always loved how this bike sounded. So that was never, a, never an issue for me. Um, no turn on red. I always loved how this bike sounded because I used to, ro used to ride behind him, so. And just like every time I ride one of his bikes, I stall it. That's weird, <laughs> like the keys are flopping around. is freaking awesome it's like heavy but not oh man oh man that sounds good
definitely old old fashioned as for um, the instrument cluster not much there ah oh, this bike just makes me want an exhaust on my bike it's just so gnarly and being though this has big block kind of big blocks on it it's really not all that vibrating feel some slight vibration but it's not bad at all the sound is what really gets me and it's actually I mean holy crap it's a it's a pretty comfortable bike for seating position the bike just feels so small of course I have the big BM, BMW so tell you what uh, the Beamer eats the bumps a lot better though <laughs> but yeah I was kind of worried about how tires would feel but man with the big blocks it's really not all that bad like I was expecting it to be like something crazy he did say once you get up to like about a 90 100 range it kind of gets a little squirrely on you so we'll have to see a little bit I like the mirrors but they're just so small it's just so nice it's because it's low low to the ground those windshields actually make up until you don't have one I just can't get over that sound he bought this bike brand new I actually have a video of him the first time he dumped it off-road I have videos of him um, riding it in uh, riding in the mud and stuff like that but man this bike is a fantastic it's like that calf ray racer style I think I fell in love with it <laughs> oh man turn this around it just turns so smooth for for the type of tire I mean it has an aggressive tire on it the mirrors like I can't see it. <laughs> hardly anything out of but for how this thing looks practicality versus style this thing definitely has style points
definitely with the big knobbies on there i was thinking about uh, using a sort of stuff a lot like the dyna beads but not but some liquid for tubes i'm gonna give that a shot on mine when i get a uh, aggressive tire that way it um the um, that way it'll even balance them out because I know you're going to be fighting a knobby, but it'll help for higher speeds. But this thing's amazing. Doesn't help that I had an espresso from Alabaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I'm trying to go like sort of stealth mode more or less on my um, on my um, GS so that's why I'm not changing the exhaust out but man if I were I would have definitely get something cool like this That aero exhaust just sounds amazing. Not neutral. Man, look at that car go. I mean, the exhaust is right there. Oh yeah, that's not good. I melted my pantaloons. Sorry, I melted my pants. Probably because I put my legs up too close to the exhaust. Wouldn't be the first time an exhaust got me. I have to keep my leg away from that muffler. trying to scrape my uh, pants off the exhaust that is still very much hot on my hands kickstand at there it is so there we have it folks that's his bike pretty sweet there we go folks there's my pants burn onto the muffler that sucks Burn a new hole in my pants. Oh well. And that's why you wear leather gloves though. Because if you did have to touch a hot pipe, it don't burn right away. But um, thank you for watching and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this ride. It's a beautiful bike. Thank you very much for letting me take it out. Have a nice day everybody and God bless.